Okay guys, Observer Canadian here, I'm John. Uh, what we're here today is we're going to look at a couple of the uh, survival kits. These are what I consider small survival kits. Uh, I want to start out with the VSSL. Uh, what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you how to upgrade some of these kits and maybe you want to get a, a group of things together uh, to go along with your bug out bag or like if you've just got a 72 hour kit these things are great but you can upgrade these ones last two weeks out there uh, with a couple of simple things anyway we'll start with the VSSL um, with all the ones that I've looked at these guys have the absolute best compass there is uh, it's oil filled not water so it'll work in extreme cold temperatures now, as for the stuff inside everything is small uh, it is set to keep you alive. Uh, beeswax candle, and you got some rope and razor blade. There's a key thing: a lot of them have razor blades. In fact, most of them do. Uh, and this one here, they got whistle trail marker. Their whistle I like. It's a nice little whistle. No pee in it. Peeless whistle. Uh, fire starter, which is very important. They also got a signal mirror wire saw. Now, I'm going to take a quick look at their wire saw again because I just want to remind myself something here. Yes, it is. Okay, braided wire. If it's not a braided wire saw, um, you can pretty much forget about it. Uh, they have a tendency to fall apart. Um, as soon as you put a bit of a torque on them, um, I've had three of them snap on me just playing around with them and seeing first wire saw I ever had was in my Rambo knife, survival knife, when I was a kid. Um, and the first time I took it out and tried it, you know, remembering I'm probably 12 years old at the time, and I was able to snap it at it, 12 years old. They haven't gotten any better. The braided wire ones are incredibly a lot better. Uh, okay, so what else you got in here is you got some tape and some aspirin and actually these are one of the only companies I've seen actually give you aspirin I'm sure there's some more you know basic little med kit in here it's always good to have it uh, here's the other thing that's really important is a can opener um, the little can openers you can pick up they're relatively cheap uh, this one also has water purification tablets that's another thing that's really important. Get those tablets. We're going to talk some more about that later. And a little fishing kit. Another thing that's really important to have with you. A way to collect food. See, they got some lures, uh, some little, basically like little twister tails, some line, some sinkers in there. This has everything you need to survive. Um, it doesn't have food, it doesn't have water, and it doesn't have a shelter. But it does give you the means to get all those things. So that's what's important. Uh, I'm not going to put it all away right now, but I set it off here to the side. The Henry kit. Henry kit's a little different. Kind of the same. It's got a 12 hour glow stick. It's an emergency blanket. You can use it for shelter. So that's what's good about it. And a whole bag of stuff. <laughs> First aid kit, wire, uh, poncho. Um, it's got a, a signaling stuff there. See, now again, they do have the wire straw, but it is a single strand. Um, single strand, but it's got a smaller wire wrapped around it. So it is better than the single wire, per se. Again, with this kit, it doesn't come with water. Uh, it does come with a razor blade. Uh, so, obviously, these smaller kits are not going to have a knife, per se. That being said, the razor blade in it is set up as a knife. Uh, it folds in, so it's, it's a little better than just a razor blade, but it's still a razor blade. It's not a knife. It'll help you get some kindling in that. So once again, the Henry 
gives you the basics to stay alive. No food, no water. Um, if you have to, you can carry water in the can if you get a place to put the, the items that are in here. Uh, this pack's really tight. There is a lot of stuff in this thing. Uh, and what I was going to mention is in a few minutes I'll give you the prices, approximate prices on these. Um, the next one is Coglin. It's the cheapest of the three. Um, it does have another glow stick in it too. And it gives you this one gives you two razor blades, your you know your basic med kit. Um, there were a couple of things, or at least one for sure thing it was lacking. It didn't have water purification tabs. Uh, but it does come with a mylar blanket and that. It does come with a poncho, uh, candle, matches. It will keep you alive very short term. Um, I would say, I know I just made a face on that, it is a good starter kit. It's under $30 US. Um, you can get it on Amazon, you can go right to their site to get it. Um, I know there's a couple of stores that sell a lot of the uh, Coglin stuff. Uh, Bass Pro Shop, up here in Canada anyway, sells Coglin. Um, so it's pretty good. Not all of their stuff I like, but this kit is pretty good. Again, it's got a little button compass in it. They all have a button compass. Well, these two have a button compass. This has a real compass. Um, this comes with a pretty bright flashlight too, actually. I just blinded myself looking at it. And it's got the flash setting on it too. All right, get that shut off. So those are the three small kits. Now, you can't confuse those with a 72 hour kit. 72 hour kit comes with water, food, shelter, um, a way to make heat. And this one's actually got a really good, really good uh, medical kit in it. Uh, yeah, it's got the shoulder straps and uh, I'm not gonna pull everything out of here. Um, I did this one on another video, showed everything that was in it. Uh, whistle, rope, uh, hand sanitizer, and smaller flashlights. Um, so it is good, but you can tell, it rolled up. I'm gonna leave this open here for a second because I'm gonna show you something. Okay, so I got this one, Canadian, under $40, under 30 in the US. The Henry's just over a hundred dollars, but 120, I believe it is, right around there, U.S. Vessel. This is a great company. You go to their website and find it. I don't know if they sell it on Amazon, but they do have their own website. Go to that if you want to check out all their stuff. You can change these up. You can get bigger ones, smaller ones, and you can actually buy more stuff to add to it. Um, you can get refills for the little containers, little pill boxes. Um, if you use any of them, you can get some backup. Okay, so we've got those. So now I would say, if you can, and this is really important, um, there's a couple of things you might want to add to these. Um, I got one of these from Waka Waka. Actually, I had two of them. Uh, it's a little solar charger. It is actually amazing. So it comes to you like that. Uh, let's see here. If I remember how to do all this, probably not. Hmm. I don't seem to be able to get anything open there. No, open up. Anywho, it does have a stand on it. I'm just having issues today. Uh, forgive me. Anywho, solar panel. Um, so you can plug something into it to charge it. Or the USB to uh, charge your device. Uh, these things work great. Yeah, I got it's got a flashlight in it. It's got a couple of different settings on the flashlight. I don't even know if I've got that off now or not. Anyway, there we go. <laughs> okay, I figured it out. 
Uh, so you can use it for reading. You can actually set it down so it uh, you know, points towards the sun, whatever way you want to do it. There you go. Point it at the sun, help with it. So if you got one of these, you can actually throw in your bag. There you go. Now you got a way to charge your phone. You've got another source of light. Put it up around the campfire, carry it with you, do whatever you want. That's a perk one that'll fit in your pocket. I actually had to use this last year. Um, I'm not gonna say it saved my life, but it made life a lot easier when we were stuck for four days without power. Uh, I love these things. Like I said, I got two of them. Uh, the company name is Waka Waka. Uh, they're actually Swedish, I believe. Um, very nice people. They sent me a couple of these to try out. They work amazing. So we'll get that one put away. Okay, so I got that one from Waka Waka. That's the smallest one. The other one is from Foxelli. Now, this is compact. Not as compact as that one, but still pretty compact. You can slide that into a backpack. Um, if you're going to have an emergency kit around the house, I would say invest in... Uh, you can go to um, Walmart and for under or Walmart Bass Pro Shop and for under 20 bucks you can get yourself a little carry bag. Um, I actually have a couple of them. I keep one of my daughter's car ones down in the basement ready to go at all times, uh, along with a 25 liter backpack. If you've got one of those, get one a 25 liter at least. You can throw one of these into it. This will fit right into it. In fact, everything I'm going to show you can fit into a 25 liter pack. So, real quick, show you this one. That's from Fox Ellie. It's a, a 10 watt solar charger, two USB port, so you can charge a couple items. Yeah, just like that. Throw it in. Comes with a flashlight and two carabiners, so you can hang it off your backpack. Um, if you're going anywhere and you got a couple of things you need charged, charge them on the go, put one inside it, uh, run a wire to your pocket or whatever, and that covers that. A um, couple of granola bars. Always good. Keep a couple of granola bar bars in here. There's all kinds of different kinds. Um, there's stuff out there for runners, some gels and that, uh, electrolytes. Um, maybe get a couple of those, throw into your pack. Um, a cushion. It's just a little small blow-up cushion. It comes in group. handy. More for comfort. Um, but if you're going to be out there and you have to be out there, you don't have a choice, grab a, one of those, a little small cushion. It's great to have with you. Now... For the compass like i said these two don't come with a great compass go buy yourself a compass there's all different prices on them get one with a mirror on it this one happens to have a little magnifying glass on it the dial people often wonder what the dial is for um, it all depends on where you live um, that's from Sunto. good little mirror I, uh, I really like that mirror. Um, anywho, I was saying, the dial on it, a lot of people don't know what it's for. Uh, because everywhere in the world, you're a little bit off of north. Um, you want to adjust them. And you'd have to look it up, what your adjustment is for what your area. You could be one degree off. And uh, if you're going a mile, one degree, not a, not a big difference. Um, but if you got to travel 10 or 20 miles, you're one degree off. You could end up two or three hundred yards down the road or even further, a quarter mile, half mile, and you might not see where you want to be. So invest in a good compass. Uh, fire starters, they all come with some kind of matches. Uh, the Henry comes with a flint, a uh, ferro rut. So you got a fire in there. Um, the vessel 
Now I actually forget if they come with the one or not. I'm going to take a real quick look. We're going to take a look at the fire starter. Uh, if I can see it. What did I just do with it? First aid fishing mirror fire starter right there. It's got matches too. Okay, so it's got uh, matches. So matches, matches, ferro rod, and the Henry. Always have a backup. Um, a backup, and of course, oh, I know where my backup is. That's it's always with me. Oh, no, oh, there it is. My backup, later. Always keep a later. Put it in something, get a little plastic sandwich bag or something and keep some of this stuff in it. Uh, throw it in with your, this one you can actually throw it right in with it. The other two, but definitely get a lighter extra ferro rod. This one uh, is called a gob spark. It's from Fire Steel. And you see I've used a little bit, not much. Striker up here on top. Yeah. Works great. Snaps back together. You can hang it. So those definitely, I would say, to get. Now, like I say, all this will fit into a 25-liter bag. Um, they all have some kind of a signaling device. Um, this one I just picked up at the at Bass Pro. Let's see if I can get it out all in one. I don't know why they, oh. Okay, their signal mirror on this one is actually attached to this. So you can't lose it. So I'm not going to pull it out right now. Not glass. Shiny metal. Comes with one of those little credit card fish hook things. I haven't tried this. And I couldn't remember where I put it. I knew it was down there. So. Uh, Readyman. That's who it's from. Readyman. I think I just stuck it in here. Pick up one of those. Those are excellent. Um, this is North 49, the signal mirror. And Ready Men this is the little tool. Um, those little tools are great. Uh, I'm going to get mine out and check it. Okay, the next thing. We got the compass out of the way and all that. Alright, you're going to need a way to do water. Okay, a couple of these kits. Uh, the Henry and the VSSL, they come with uh, water purifier tablets. Just pick them up. Potable. Uh, I'm going to take those out. But Potable also comes out with these. Uh, little pills, there's two stages. First one is your water purification tablets. And the second one is to take the taste out of the water. Uh, if you ever used water purification tablets, you know you get that like a chlorine -y taste. The second tablets will take that taste out and the color out. Um, so you can get those or you can get what I like. Uh, yeah, okay, I made a little. We didn't clean it out last time. That's got a little bit of salt there left on it. Anyhow, H2, H2GO, H2GO, water purifier. Just uses salt. Um, there again, it is solar powered. You can plug it in. Uh, plug in's down here. You can plug it in to charge it. It's not a charger. You can't plug anything in. Uh, it's also got a flashlight on it. And it's really easy to use. Comes with a little charging unit, uh, the cable, plug in, little bottle. Fill up to the bottom line with salt, fill it with water, and you're good for uh, 15 uses with it. It also holds salt. There's two little salt reservoirs in here. Each little reservoir holds enough salt to fill this bottle to that bottom line, and then you can fill it with water. So that's two. Now, with both of these, you're still going to need to. Uh, filter your water Now I don't have one with me the best thing to do for that um, Coffee filters if you don't know how to make a three-stage filter uh, Out in the wild carry some coffee filters with you 
And there's one other thing here I forgot to show you. This is a little big uh, for that, but I always keep it around. Uh, this is another solar charger. This is a 21 watt solar charger from Gomatic. Um, this thing is amazing. I've used this. Actually, um, I've taken the battery pack out of it and used the battery pack. Uh, just to show you real quick here, everything that comes with it. Well, I'm not going to show everything that comes with it. In fact, you know what? I still got the battery pack packed away in my backpack that I just used a little while ago. But it's got a charger in there for uh, AA, AAA batteries. So if you're using your batteries, uh, do that. They've got a, it's a big solar panel. This is a little heavy to be backpacking with. So I would say uh, maybe not the best thing for backpack, but if you, you know, keep one in the house, you, you can't, you can't beat them. You can't, it's peace of mind is what it is. Um, you know if the power goes out, you're going to have power to power your devices, your flashlights, and all that stuff. The next thing would be some kind of a radio. Um, I got this one from Midland. I actually have two of these. These are great radios. I got this one from Running Snail. This one, they're both hand cranked, they're both rechargeable. Uh, they're both solar powered. Um, not sure which one I grabbed out here. Do, 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 do. Okay, this is the one that lasts for up to 25 hours. Um, these are great on a full charge, 25 hours of usage. Um, like I said, they're solar. This one from uh, Running Snail, it's a little smaller, a little more compact. Uh, runs on AAA batteries or the, the uh, battery inside. This one also does the same. This is a little more high tech. This is all manual dial and that flip switches. It's a good radio. And you can see I've already wrecked the box. <laughs> Very important, a weather radio. Um, and one that doesn't just require batteries. Uh, actually, the one from Midland. I only had on a partial charge and I see it's still giving me the right time so I got a clock in front of me so that works uh, okay gone through that throw in a cup some kind of cup uh, this is GSI uh, we use this all the time we just picked this up at Bass Pro Shop I think it was 10 bucks for the cup uh, 14 fluid ounces it's good. We've cooked everything in there. I've made coffee in there, uh, a cup of soup, stuff like that. Next thing you'll want, although they come with razors, nothing beats a good pocket knife. So I actually have a couple of pocket knives here. Uh, this one's a hunt shield. I like these ones. Um, they're both flip open. That one's got the uh, the lock on the back side here. This one is the center lock. This one's serrated. They're always good. Keep those. Throw them in your pocket. This one stays with me all the time. This is my optimal number eight. Always have this one with me. Uh, it's with me while I'm at work. Everywhere. I always carry it in a bag. Keep it in there. Uh, it will go on my belt. I don't like it on my belt. For me, it sits a little too high. Um, so those are my pocket knives, switch knives. And remembering, all of these are reasonably cheap. Like an optimal, optimal knife. You know, they're under 20 bucks in the States. You know, 30 bucks here in Canada. You can't beat them. Um, these two knives I got together in a pack. Uh, they were 25 bucks. And then a couple of fixed blade knives. Uh, I got one from Redhead. You know, keep one of those. Well, like I said, all of this will fit into a 25 liter pack, or if you got a 72 hour pack, 
you can toss them in there. Another one, this one's a Gerber. Um, you don't need one of the big fancy knives. Like, you don't need a knife that's got the ferro rod and 600 feet of cordage and will, you know, skin a bird for you if you needed to. Um, you don't need a knife like that. Simple. Less things can go wrong. Um, this is my camp knife. I use this all the time. This is my Shrade. Uh, CHF 9. Uh, I use this for everything when I'm camping. I've never had an issue. Um, it does come with an extra pouch here. Uh, you can take this pouch off. I keep it on. And, lo and behold, look, an extra knife. Uh, I don't like being without a knife. So, And this also has a glass breaker on it. So, I keep those. Now, keeping in mind, I keep all this stuff together. Um, I get a couple of shelves down the basement and uh, a couple of shelving units. And I keep all this so everybody knows where to go if something happens. They can grab a bag, they can grab a kit, whatever they need. Um, if you're going to have a knife, invest in a Lansky. Um, this is the, uh, the knife medic. And it's a little different than some of the other ones. There are some that are the, look the same as this. This one is made of metal. Um, so it's not cheap. It's not going to snap on you. It's got the carbide. It's got the ceramic. Um, the ceramic here for your serrated. Uh, it's got the diamond tapered piece on it there too. Uh, and it's just magnet holds it in place. So those things are great. Uh, I keep those around all the time. I don't like using the uh, the carbide as much. I'll use the ceramic, clean up a knife and that. If you have to, you're out in the bush. You're probably not taking your honing stones with you. <laughs> if you've got to get out, that's not one of the things you're thinking of taking up space and weight is your uh, honing stones. Um, keep one of those in a little side pouch. Okay, so that's what you need. Um, every one is different though. This is what I really wanted to get into. Your 72 hour kits. You can't say enough about these things. They come ready for you. Um, this one I have is from Life Gear. Uh, it's got food for 72 hours for two people. It's got water in there. Um, you can use the bag to carry water. It's got the handle on it. It's got straps you can attach to it. This is just a great kit. But like I say, you can upgrade your kits. It doesn't take much. If you don't want to spend a lot of money, grab one of these. If you can do it, get one of these. Um, same with these. If you can do it. Um, not everybody can afford to go out and spend 100 150 bucks on a kit that's going to sit around that you're probably never going to use. Hopefully you never have to use. Um, you know, 72 hour kits every five years, you know, you gotta, you gotta check them. They tell you twice a year. Uh, what the standard is, when you change your clocks from daylight saving time, back and forth, that's when you go through them, make sure your food's okay, your matches, your glow sticks, everything. Glow sticks have a timer on them. Uh, well, not a timer, but they have a shelf life. So, pick up one of these, we'll just say, for saying under 50 bucks, pick up one of these. A little over 100 bucks, pick up one of these. Right around 100 bucks. Uh, a little less, a little more. It's up to you on one of these. I would say get one of these. Keep it around. The Henry, you got your shelter in there. You get a little more than the VSSL. Um, it all depends on what you like. Um, these aren't that heavy. This, None of these are really that heavy. But they're good to have. They're great to keep around. Uh, you know what? If you got kids and that, get one of these. Start them out. Get your kids their own one. Um, grab one just to take it. Take them out. Show them everything that's in it. Show them how everything works. And get them their own if you can do it. Uh, there's 46 pieces in here. The Henry, I can't remember. Uh, it's probably over 100 pieces in there. 
But then think about some of the other stuff you're going to need. Water purification. A cup. None of these come with a cup. Uh, I could use this as a cup. Um, take off the one end, put the other end back on. Like take off the flashlight end. Put the base back on it and I got a cup. Um, I wouldn't use it probably. Well, no, I couldn't use it for boiling water in. So that's where a cup like that comes in handy. Uh, just little things to upgrade your kit can make a world of difference. So, what I want, what I'm hoping for, is uh, some of you guys to get back to me, because not every kit is great for every place. Um, this one might be good. You know, it says two people, three days worth of water. Up here, that's lots. I'm more worried about having something to purify my water than actually carrying water. Um, I'll never run out of water up here in Ontario. We have so many lakes. We have over... Uh, you guys think Minnesota's big. You hear it's a land of 10,000 lakes. Ontario has 100,000 lakes. Uh, rivers, um, streams, everything you want here. Uh, you'll never run out of water. So purification, and uh, that's what I need up here. But if you're in, say, like Arizona, Nevada, you might want to carry more water than what's in one of these. So, why don't you guys get back to me. Let me know the general area you're in, like Northern California, Southern California, desert region, Florida. Florida would be different. Florida would be different than Washington State, which would be different than New York State. Um, the northeastern states are pretty much, you know, they got lots of water in them too, but certain states don't. Georgia might be different again. Georgia... You know, you might be worried about uh, the water purification. You might be able to find, I don't know. I don't know what Georgia's like, say, as opposed to Florida, California, or any of that. You know, we know the desert states and stuff like that. I know going Western Canada, they're flat. There's not a lot of water. Uh, you can find it. There's areas with water, but it's the same with everywhere. There's areas with water, areas without water. So every place is different. So why don't you guys leave a comment? In the section below, let me know what you need to see in a uh, survival kit or a 72-hour kit. Uh, I know the West Coast, they're more worried about um, earthquake kits. So, get back to me. Let me know. Uh, let me know what you'd like to see thrown in one of these kits. And I will throw one, to, throw one together. I'll get a smaller backpack. Or just use this one. And we'll set it up. And you tell me what it's like. Maybe I'll have one set up for each region. Anywho, uh, it's Observer Canadian. I'm out of here. Got to go to work. You guys have a great day.